Some people call this road the Queen of the Alps or the highest playground in Europe. But most of them say it's the road. We're talking about the Stilfser Joch. The Stilfser Joch or Passo dello Stelvio is located in the Ortlid Alps. It connects Bormio in the Veltlin with Prat in Finchgau. With its 48 bends on the South Tyrolean side and 34 on the West Ram, the Stilfser Joch is a dream for anyone who likes curves. The about 50 kilometers long route is very nice and also always offers an impressive view. The Alfa Romeo Stelvio features the name of this beautiful mountain road. And the top version we're driving, the Quadrifolio, is not only something very special regarding to its design. The 2.9-litre V6 biturbo engine of the Stelvio delivers 510 horsepower, 600 newton meters of maximum torque. That's enough to accelerate that car in only 3.8 seconds from 0 to 100 km per hour. Top speed 283 km per hour. The Alfa Romeo Stelvio is featuring different drive modes, which they call DNA at Alfa Romeo. And so D is for dynamic, A is for advanced efficiency and N is for natural and whenever you change from natural or advanced efficiency to D like dynamic the whole car is changing so it's getting, getting a, more, a lot more stiff a lot more precise and direct and when you then use the pedals at the steering wheel to shift gears manually that car really gives you loads of fun while driving on a curvy road like that. To make the Stelvio Quadrifolio as agile as it presents itself here on the track, Alfa did a lot of things to make the car light. So they used alloy, for instance, for the hood, for the tail lid, for the doors and many other parts. And the carden shaft is out of carbon fiber just to reduce the weight. With a lap time of 7 minutes 51.7. The Stelvio Quadrifolio is the fastest serious SUV on the Nürburgring Nordschleife. By the way, it's even faster than a Lamborghini Gallardo P560 or a BMW M4. When you're pushing this car a bit more, you can really hear the orchestra in the rear. The interior of the Stelvio Quadrifolio looks the way you are expecting it. We do find nice leather, very nice stitchings, a lot of carbon fiber optics, so the whole interior really gives you the feeling of being in a sporty car. But there's, there are two things I don't like so much. The first thing is down here at the gear shifter. The area doesn't look as good or as high class as it should be, I think. And the other thing is we do have a full color screen here for the infotainment system, but we do not have any uh, direct buttons to choose from the menu. And this is not a touch screen. So whenever I want to change, uh, want to switch from one menu item to the other, I have to use the jock dial to do this. And this really takes some time. And this is, I think, not state of the art and while driving, not the perfect solution. Fact is, the Stilfseyoch is with a height of 2,757 meters, not only the highest mountain road in Italy, it's also the second highest one in the whole of the Alps. The two sides of the pass could not be more different. While on the South Tyrolean side you mostly face tight bends, the track on the West Ram flows almost gently into the valley. The pass road is usually open from late May to November. Those who would like to try it earlier should use the Western Ram from Bormio, cause this opens a little earlier. Driving these amounts of very tight turns, the seat inside of the car is getting more and more important. And with the Stelvio Quadrifolio, this seat really fits like a handmade glove. You just take your seat and it just grabs his arms around you. Just, it's just extremely comfortable and it offers loads of support. 
And the good thing here is you can't, cannot only adjust the whole seat electrically, you can also adjust the sides of the seat where you can make your decisions how much support you want, what is comfortable for what um, kind of driving. And this is something I do like, I would say, nearly the most about the car. On this road, there are cars allowed up to a length of 10.5 meters. Ah. I have no idea how they should manage these kind of turns. On the route, there's always the opportunity to stop and enjoy the view. And you also find places to pick up some food. At the highest point of the route, there are plenty of restaurants, hotels and stands you can have a snack at. But be careful, the prices are special. With the right car, the Stilsayoch changes into one of the best roller coasters worldwide. And it is a cheap one as well, because until now you don't have to pay any road taxes at all. <laughs>